Hi there, welcome to Storytime. Today we're reading Ruby Moo's Deep Sea Adventure. Written by Isabel Atherton, illustrated by Bethany Straker, produced, edited, and narrated by yours truly. Ruby Moo was bored being part of the herd. She felt like she didn't belong. While the other cows made yogurt, cheese, and milk, Ruby Moo dreamed of exciting things. She wanted to be the first cow in space, or to scale snowy mountains, and maybe explore Aztec ruins. But more than anything, she wanted to be the first cow deep sea diver. While staring down into the water trough, Ruby Moo would imagine herself in a diver's helmet, battling against a terrible giant squid. She let out a snort. Would she ever see the sea? Ruby Moo was losing her mind in the tiny field. A plan began to form. She would escape. Quietly, she snuck into the dairy van, knowing that it went to the seaside. It wasn't long before the van arrived and Ruby Moo was able to sneak out. After being in the dark van, it took a while for Ruby Moo's eyes to adjust. But when they did, she saw a beautiful sight. A pebbly beach and the sea, blue, inviting, and just whispering of adventures. She snuck over to the diving hut. Well, Ruby Moo wasn't one to steal things, so she decided just to borrow a diving helmet for the day. Putting on the helmet, she waded out to sea. Ruby Moo's adventure was about to begin. Who knew what discoveries she would make? Floating in the water, she saw brightly colored fish. An eel wrapped itself around her helmet, but Ruby Moo gently brushed it off. Diving deeper, the water became darker and spookier. There in the gloom, she made out the shape of a shipwreck. Ruby Moo was excited by the possibility of finding some treasure. So she found a hole in the side of the ship and she squeezed in. Seaweed tentacles reached out to grab her and small silvery fish dashed in and out of the portholes. Swimming from room to room, Ruby Moo couldn't find any treasure, but she was having so much fun it didn't matter. She was the first cow deep sea diver. Uh-oh, then something slippery curled around her leg. It was the giant squid. It had fearsome teeth and glinting eyes. Ruby Moo was terrified. The squid came closer. Ruby Moo shook with fear. She was about to be eaten in one gulp. Then suddenly the squid spoke. Hello, would you like to play a game of chess? The shocked Ruby Moo didn't expect this terrifying giant squid to play board games. Well, after two games of chess, followed by a bounce on the squid's trampoline, they both called it an afternoon. Well, exhausted from all the adventure and fun, Ruby Moo swam to the shore. She put the diving helmet back where she found it, and she snuck back into the dairy van. Well, 
Back home, the dairy operations, of course, continued. If only the other cows could have seen her exploring the shipwreck and playing chess with a not-so-fearsome giant squid. Ruby Moo decided that from that day on, she would never give up exploring. Next stop, the moon. Thanks for reading with us today. We'll read again next time.